Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to look at the RTX 3080 from Gigabyte, the gaming OC model. Uh, it's really heavy, it's really big for being a 3080, and we're going to look at stuff like the performance in games and in other applications. Before we start this video, I just want to say that subscribing to our channel helps out a lot and that it's free, as well as to comment on our videos, and we will answer back as soon as possible. If we look on the box here, we see that this is from Gigabyte, and this is the GeForce RTX 3080, and that it has the NVIDIA Ampere Arc ray tracing, DLSS, and also four years of warranty, as well as OC edition, WindForce uh, fans, and RGB Fusion 2.0. I also got Watch Dogs Legion, as well as NVIDIA GeForce Now with, with this card, which is a bit weird if you buy this graphic card and you have this gaming streaming service that you can use from any type of computer. If we spin this box around, you can see the side here, and the only information really there is that this is a 10GB card and it has three fans. So let's spin it around again and see if there's more information there. On the back here we can see that we have things like the three fan system, we have the CPU copper plate, we have stuff like the screen cooling, we have um, protection metal back plate, RGB Fusion 2.0, and we have things like how many you know display ports and HDMIs and some more information on the bottom there. Pause if you want to read more. Let's spin it around, see that there is no, not much more on this side, so let's spin it around again. And now, when we have done the full circle, let's open it up and see what's inside of the box. On the inside here we get a black envelope from Gigabyte. So let's open that up and see what's inside. And on the inside we get more information about warranty and quick installation. Looking at the graphic card now, we see that we have the Gigabyte logo here that is actually RGB lit, while these are not. And we also see things like the fan outlet on the side, the two 8-pin connectors, and the fan outlet that goes upwards. But let's spin the card around so you can start looking at the design of this card and how really big it is. If we look on the back we see that it's very plain, nothing much, but if we, if we look on the side we see that there is a huge gap for all the hot air to come out of. If we look on the front here, we see the two HDMI's and two display ports. Well, let's spin this card all around and then let's tilt it so we can start spinning it and showing it off the other way. And if we look underneath, we see the three fans as well as some nice copper shining through. And if we look more to the front, we see that there's space for NVLink or SLI as was called before, but that doesn't exist on the 3080 cards, only on the 3090. And I actually got to correct myself, as we see on the front we have three display ports and two HDMI's. But let's rotate back so I can start showing you something that I've found out looking at this card a bit. And if you look on the side here, we see that there's like a loose cable that they could have done a little bit better, since this is a premium card. And if you look on the top, there's some cables as well, let me just flip the card, that actually doesn't look that nice and will hinder some airflow. But let's take a look on how the card looks within the system and when it's powered on. And as we can see, it looks really nice within the system. It's big, it's chunky if that's even a word. You have RGB, and if you look on the underneath, the fans are actually not on because it only powers on when the GPU needs it. Speaking about the fans, let's do some sound testing on how many decibels we can get this card up to when it's at 100%. But enough about the physics of the card, let's take a look at some benchmarks and games and more. I've chosen three games to really benchmark this card on, uh, and it's Deus Ex Mankind Divided, it's Metro Exodus and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And as you can see, the card really performs with both minimum, maximum and the average FPS on a 2K screen with everything on Ultra. So all games are tested with 2K resolution and everything in Ultra, except Metro Exodus, which I chose to do in 1K, as you can see in the settings. But enough about that, let's start the benchmark. 
I'll stop talking now so you can see how beautiful this game can look. And with everything on Ultra, uh, we see that we have an average frame rate of about 67, as well as a maximum of 113 and a minimum of 40. And this is, as I said, with everything on Ultra, as well as ray tracing. Uh, we also see on the curve that it's quite stable when it comes to uh, stability. Taking a look at Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we see that this card really performs. We have everything on maximum, we have ray trace shadow quality to ultra, we have everything to the top, and we still get 118 FPS average. But let's take a look at something else in Yaz Gaming. Let's take a look on some, you know, classical benchmarks. So here comes 3D Mark Time Spy. And in here we can see that we get a score of 18,045, which isn't that much or that far away from a 3090. But more about the 3090 on a later video. And I'm also going to include a user benchmark test. Not that I use them for benchmarking stuff, because I think that they are not uh, accurate enough or um, it doesn't tell the user too much. But just for fun I'm going to include it as well. And here you can see the gaming performance of this card according to user benchmark. We get a gaming score of about 198% with this CPU and memory setup. And we also see that the card is apparently underperforming. And here's a benchmark for our miners out there. I used Claymore Miner and uh, uh, the standard, you know, I didn't overclock, I didn't do anything of that, so this is the raw performance of the card, untouched. And we see that we get about 84 to 87 in mega hash. But enough about benchmarks and looks, let's go to the giveaway section of this video. Welcome to the giveaway section of the video. So let's just input our URL right here, get some comments. We see that we have 15 unique comments, so remember to subscribe and to comment on our latest video to be able to be in this raffle. Let's start the random picker to see who is gonna win this weekend's giveaway. Scott Munden first! Yes, you were. And apparently that makes you win the game now. <laughs> So, let's go to the game giveaway section to see which game you're going to get. So, Scott, we have a lot of different games here now. Uh, we have, you know, some new ones, we have all the old ones, you have a great number of games that you're going to be able to win. So, let's see which game you're going to win this weekend. Well, it's not going to be really going to be weekend when you see this, but you understand what I mean. Let's start the wheel and see. Congratulations, you won a copy of Grand Theft Auto V, so just hit me up, uh, either through Discord or Twitter, and I will send GTA your way. Remember to subscribe and click the bell notification for more videos, as well as like, comment and share. To be in the next weekend's giveaway, just see to it that you have subscribed and that you have commented on the video. Uh, if you have done that, you will be in the next weekend's spinning the wheel giveaway. Thanks for watching, have a good day now, bye bye!